What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Mm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. What do you need, Ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher, so I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm All right. Let's begin. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious <laughs> amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plough into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than... Damn the dogs! The old man got me! I need to eat. Build up a bit. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no-necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. You've had your song. Care for some real uh. diversion? <sighs> Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast. I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. An orans. Sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish dump. <laughs> Care for a little diversion, brave one? Haven't had I'm this good a time in ages. Oh, come on. That's true. Your comrades you know this are one. well at it, having <laughs> their fun. <laughs> Why should you be any worse? Plow more, plow right. Let's go. The dwarf bag kicked him in the arse. Plow more, plow more. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. Plow more, plow more. Do that again, and I'll fuck you, mum. Plow there, more. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. 
I was busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Loud. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? You don't talk. Prove it. I doubt anyone would stop you. We're too soft on them, that's the problem. Soldier! Report Soldiers to me immediately! Aboard. The garrison is thinning. <laughs> Now you're talking. There's no need to look for the score you tell. Cut the level down one what by do you one, want? and we'll Shut it, soldier. Have, have respect for you your superiors or women. spend the rest of your life then on the king's killing the elven brat. Apologies, sir. So? I didn't realize. <laughs> You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You! I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Silly. They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Lurido then. If you're telling the truth, your vest got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I heard you killed the Cairn. Flotsam is grateful. 
Let's say that squares the crimes of your friends. They're free to go. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorably at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvitz no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> You underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. I'm a Witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Though you stir up storms wherever you go, I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kirin Epesnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. No one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Lorido's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but... So get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Forever any day now. They beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. It's no use. You wish, Horson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam, on the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. 
We need your help. We need to speak with Yorvith. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. There's a Witcher in Yorvith's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. And there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering. All for naught. Letho, he's the Kingslayer? Yes. Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us. From the start. Our hatred. But he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. I don't know what Letho wants. What does Yorveth want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorveth. Tell me. You would also betray him, Dwan. In that case, I'll ask Yorveth himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. We got what we came for. What now? Yorveth. What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynplaid. Yorveth fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. People believe that the wraiths of the Wild Hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morin, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts, then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance, growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a Rose of Remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? 
I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. <sighs> I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. Gardens in the middle of forests? Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are almost always beautiful, especially elven ones. The reality often leaves a lot to be desired. Well, Cedric also said the site itself was something wonderful. The rose must be here somewhere. I'll look around. Alden and Cymerel. Cedric said Cymerel eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions, and that's something I understand perfectly well. Oh my, lovers. Look at it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. How did the elves become so cruel? The one with the scar had so much hatred in him. Places like this make you realize just how much they've lost. There used to be entire elven cities, and the forests were theirs to enjoy, not to hide in. Humans destroyed that, put them in reservations. Yorvith and his kind are taking revenge, though not all elves are like that. Kieran said there's a lot more at stake. He has his ideal, a certain vision of the world. But do you think there's room for humans in it? We're practically one and the same. Wrong, Triss. We've been learning from each other for generations, but we're different at base. I don't know why I find that awfully sad. Just like this garden. Beautiful and sad. Triss. Slimeril's Rose of Remembrance. Legend has it they wilt unless nourished with blood, and also if they're sold. But give it to someone you love, and it'll live forever. This one's for you. Oh, Geralt. I want you to keep it. If there's any truth to the legend, it shouldn't wilt. Even if you pluck a petal or two. Thank you. This is the statue, Curly. Don't mind us. Imagine the corn we'll get. I won't leave the brothel for a month. Six weeks even. Where does that woman get the gold for all this? I mean, her and the old man, they're buying a new house. And now these statues for the garden. Must be defrauding the treasury. What's a town chancellor do anyway? They'd be ploughing hard to move. We'd never shift it in one piece. I know. We'll break off the legs. The heads, remove it in bits. Break off your own head, clown. Shut your trap, cunt. And... Kill them! Hit yeah. the freak! Incredible. 
incredible what the N-Shade built before human ships ever appeared in the Pontar Delta. Elves possess a sensitivity humans can't ever hope to acquire. We're stuck. Well, there must be another way out of here. Why are you looking at me that way? Do I have something on my face? Uh -uh. What's going on in that head of yours, Witcher? Oh, you know. Stuff. You could use a bath. So could you. A witcher's blade. Letho comes here to think. Well, he's not here now, so we've no reason to stay. The Dwan stole the story of Elden and Cymru, but they now steal our roses of remembrance. A more silly and shallow tale I've never heard. An enchanted wood, a beautiful elven couple living within. A handsome human prince arrives, riding a milk-white stallion. Bloody Dwan. We enter remember how it was. Limitless devotion, passion, commitment, and sacrifice. Legend has it the lover's signs are enchanted with these very stones. Though only those in love can win. Jabbering stones, elven hogwash. Well, I'm buggered. And we should take walks more often. For a while there, I forgot all about Flotsam, the Skoyatel, the Kingslayer, the whole world, really. Nice to know I still have that power. I need time to devise the spell. It could take as much as a few days. Mm -hmm. What do you plan to do while you wait? I'm going to meet Yorbeth. Well, don't get yourself killed. That'd be pretty stupid now. What are you getting at? You're about to recover your memory, which will give you a whole new perspective on things. We'll learn what happened to Yennefer. Uh-huh. And you expect me to drop everything and tell Roach, hey, it's been great, but I've got places to go and people to find? You know, you could. I, I mean, you don't really owe him anything. I'm just afraid you'll get caught up in something and you won't be able to back out. 
Yorvath's a sly old elf. He's been fighting humans for a full century at least. This Letho is no common bandit either, and I shudder to think who put him on the warpath. It's a mire, Geralt. Deep and hungry, and it could swallow you whole before you know it. It possibly already has. I want you to know that I'm prepared to travel to the end of the world with you to save Yennefer. I owe you that. I owe her that. I'm prepared to drop everything. The trappings of court life, politics, the regicides. I could even live at Kaer Morhen. It's up to you. Triss. Let me finish. I can only say this once. If you want to go alone, I'll understand. And I won't try to persuade you otherwise. I can't know what the future holds. I don't know what else is hidden in my mind. But whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't want to lose you. I'd have to be an utter fool and complete ingrate to let you go. That's... kind? Thank you. Does that mean we're leaving the regicides to Roach and tending to our own matters? I really would like to go, but I need to clear my name. Foltest's men and bounty hunters of all kinds would never let it go. We'd be fugitives, and that's not a life I'd want for me or for you. Besides, I'd feel as if I'd given up when there was still something to do. I'd feel like I fled, and as I see it, we haven't lost yet. Whatever your decision, I want you to know you can count on me. I need a few days to prepare the spells. I need to talk to Zoltan about Yorvith. It's not a closed conversation. We'll talk again, but only after I've settled things with the Kingslayer. Gerald! There you are. Is everything all right? This is nice. What a beautiful place. Very. How do you find us? Finding those I seek is a speciality of mine. Now, let's get out of here. The Scoyatel are out in droves. Narita wants the Scoyatel gone for good. He didn't say anything specific, but in his mind's eye, he saw them on the prison barge already. Yorvath's outsmarted bigger fish than the Commandant. Lorito's got something going with Sheila, so I'd take him seriously if I were you. You never know. Maybe the sorceress hunts more than monsters. You'll get a chance to show your mettle. If we're to capture Foltest's murderer, we'll have to clash with the Scoyatel. I sent the boys out into the woods. Tough going, too dense. My scouts got ambushed and barely escaped. It's no picnic hunting elves in the forest. Tell me something I don't know. My people saw the Kingslayer again. He knows we're here, but he's not even trying to escape. Seems he's waiting for something. I think it's our move. I spoke to the Commandant. The future hardly looks bright for the non-humans in Flotsam. That fucker's only waiting for an excuse. One small provocation by Yorveth and he'll attack us. How do you know? He heard it by chance. Saw him walking through the port one night, talking to himself, that batty bastard. He mentioned a new order and a world for humans only. He laughed and shouted curses at the prison barge. The scum is up to something. Yorveth must sense it. He's doing everything not to provoke Lerido, but his Scoyatel might have a different opinion and less restraint. Zoltan, I need to ask you a favor. Shoot. I heard you know the local Scoyatel. You heard? Meaning some goat's ass in a helmet hollowed it out in the market square. I need some way to get to this Yorveth. You know, I don't want you thinking I'm all chummy with the Scoyatel. And Yorveth detests me. Why would you want to see him anyway? He knows where the Kingslayer is. Yorveth? And here I always thought I'm a common thug. All right. No reason to sit on our arses. Come on. You can tell me everything on the way. Lead on, Sultan. Tell me, who said I have contacts with the Scoyatel? The reader. What? That's why he wanted to hang you? For making deals with the squirrels? What? I met a few, yes, but made no fucking deals. What about that, leader? They say you're best mad, but the Scoyatel are at his beck and call. Sword knows what he wants. Hope he'll tell me what it is. Tell you what, of two evils, Lorido is the beggar prick. Because he almost hanged you? Because he stirs up the locals against non-humans. And as what, he's colluding with Kedwin. What's his angle? Greed! 
King Hansel will gladly annex more land and grant Lerido privileges. Come on, we've got a long way to go. We need to go deeper into the forest. I hope they didn't change the password. You know their password? What are you playing at, Sultan? All right. The Scoyatel asked me to command a unit. No wonder Lurido wanted you hanged. Uh, they may have asked, but I didn't accept their fucking offer. This is it. I was due to meet them here. I know. They're aiming arrows at us. What? Geralt, I know full well you're always vigilant, but quit poking fun at me. Give them the password. What them? Hurry up, they're edgy. Kierkegaard! Stop bawling. What do you want? Countersign. Heidegger. I asked you a question. Take us to Jorvith. Why? If we wanted to speak with you, we wouldn't ask for your leader. Jorvith won't talk with you. You don't know that. Leave while you're still able. The two of you won't scare us off. There are four more in that tree. How do you know? I can hear them breathing. One's sick, or on fist tech. How? He's wheezing. What? You elven cocks gone soft? We just want to talk to Yorbeth. Wait at the clearing. The dwarf knows where. We'll let Yorvith know. Make sure you do. Come on, Geralt. I know what those elven pricks have planned. Been there once. What are you talking about? That clearing is a monster's lair. Huge horse son with a shell on its back. An Ericus in these parts? I thought that was impossible. Well, I don't know the shit's name, but it's terrifying. They sent us into a trap. Tough. Let's go. We're here. That creature prowls down there. Right where we're supposed to meet Yorvith. Exactly. Any ideas? I last fought an Ericus some time ago. I never had the swiving pleasure. Not that I mind. Wait here. What are you... Think me a limp prick? This is the place the elves mentioned. That thing approaching us is no elf. I'll leave it to you, get out. Monsters are not my speciality. A lovely show, Gwynblade. But tell me, was it worth it? An uneven fight and certain death await you anyway. I could ask you the same thing. What do you want, that gun? Speak quickly before I kill you both. Letho betrayed you. He wanted to make a deal with your comrade, Kirin. Kirin Ep Esnilin is dead. Two weeks ago, his warriors were ambushed and killed. You should invent better lies, Gwynblade. He's on the barge, wounded but alive. He turned Letho down, and his unit paid the ultimate price. If you speak the truth, Letho will die. But words alone are not enough. So the hired assassin turned out to be a traitor? It's his word against yours. For now. Why do you trust him? Because he's a Dwan who agreed to do shady work for you? 
He did what had to be done. He proved nobody's untouchable. What's your angle, Yorbeth? You wouldn't understand. Hiding in woods, killing berry pickers, eating roots. We live by our own rules, doing what's necessary to attain our goal. What is your goal? What's it to you, Geralt? Eseth Vatgen? You tell me to stuff it up my ass. Not everything deserves that fate. My life now depends on your whim, so I'm curious. Then listen well. The two dead kings were whoresomes who damned their own children to stay in power. But in the East, there's someone truly deserving of a crown. You attack and murder the people of Flotsam, forgetting that elves and dwarves live among them. That's no life. They've been stripped of self-respect, forced to live and die by human laws. They're more Dwan than you, Geralt. You still trust this assassin? You may be lying. If I'm lying, so did Kieran. We'll investigate it for his sake. We shall see how Letho reacts to your sensational news. Where is he? The ruins of Kelmawed. For some reason, he likes the place. My unit will cover us. Ready? Why did you want Foltest dead? He might have appeared charming, but in reality he allowed the Elder Races in Temeria to be oppressed. He was like Old Dwan, but his death has more significance. We need to go.